Chapter 70 of Jinping Mei Original Version The old eunuch leads the imperial court, and the second time he mentions the imperial eunuch in the criminal court. It is said that Ximon King has no relationship with Sister Li Gui since then, but he said that he sent someone to Lin Qianhu in Huaiqing Prefecture to inquire about the news. Lin Qianhu gave the visitor the report of being promoted to an official residence, and also rewarded him with five coins. He came overnight to deliver it to the two officials who were responsible for the punishment. When the Jia dynasty announced the punishments, he and Simon Kingshin visited the guards and came to inspect the official notes. The summary said, a copy of the Ministry of War respects the clear edicts, conducts strict assessments, warns and punishes with light, and governs affairs with light and saints. Jinwu guards should be the first. Ju Ti, the commander-in-chief, and the Crown Prince's chief security officer, inspected the Imperial Guard officials beforehand. Except for the high-ranking officials who made their own reports, the rest of the two sides issued orders for prison arrests. Internal and external punishment stations commanded thousands of households and town governors, etc., each in turn. Impeachment from the public, screening out the virtuous, and requesting specific topics, at present, the Ministry will discuss in detail, depose, promote, demote and other reasons. According to the Imperial Edict, the Ministry of War knows this and obeys it, copy it to the Ministry. Looking at the previous affairs of Tai Weiju T, he followed the old rules, and the appointed officials worked hard to be loyal and public in the assessment. They all showed the facts they heard and saw, and there was no paranoid selfishness. It is enough to inspire people's hearts and lead to public discussion, and no ministers will be allowed to speak again. However, favors, prestige, rewards and punishments come from the imperial court, and they will be implemented as usual on the day they are ordered. Continue to follow the plan, Jia Yanling, who is in charge of thousands of households in Shandong Tixing Station, has been promoted for a long time and has become mature. In the past, he was a pastor and herder, but the corner of the house was quiet. Now he handles all punishments and has a political voice. It is appropriate to add rewards in order to hope for promotion. You can prepare a book, The Chosen One. Simon Kang, the post-executive deputy of Qianhu, is talented and insightful. His family is well off, but he is not greedy when he is in office. He is diligent in state affairs and has achievements in Taiwanese work. The next day, the divine fortune will be fulfilled without any hesitation, and the judicial decree will be followed by all the people. It is advisable to add the person who has been promoted to a positive position and is known as a punishment. Lin Chengshan, a member of the Thousand Households of Huaiqing, who was appointed to the Thousand Households of Penalty Department, was young and well-educated. He had a martial arts background and had extraordinary ambitions to succeed his ancestors. The punishments and prisons were detailed and legal. And those who could be rewarded for simple appointments could be rewarded. I am a deputy to a thousand households to express my gratitude. Even though I am old and frail, my past performance is still impressive. Now I am particularly weak in the punishment of punishment. It is appropriate to dismiss and dismiss the person who has been appointed. Simon King was very happy when he saw that he had been converted into a thousand households master. When Jia Tixing saw that he had been promoted to commander and was in charge of the affairs department, he was silent for most of the day and his face turned pale. So I started to read the completed book of the Ministry of Works, which read, The Book of the Ministry of Works. The divine destiny comes to Beijing. Heaven and man celebrate, begging for heaven's grace, adding generous codes, so that the people are in poverty, to spread the saints and bring prosperity to the cause. According to the Imperial Edict, this divine destiny welcomes Da Nai and lays a foundation for Mao Zhen to inherit the blessings of heaven. I am very happy. You are always effective and hardworking. And you serve me well. In the place where he passed, the poor people of the committee were in poverty. He went to the Yemen to make a survey and found out. He was exempted from half of this year's field rent. The damaged dam gates will be repaired immediately by the officials from the ministry together with the censor. At the end of the day, Meng Changling, the chamberlain, was sent to offer sacrifices, Kai Jing, 
Li Bengyan, Wang Wei, Zheng Zhuzhang, Gao Qiu, Fu Baijin Bode, praised the inner court directly. Honored Lao Mao, Jing Jia Taishi, Bang In Jia Jugu Crown Prince Taishi, Wang Wei Taifu, Zheng Zhuzhang, Gao Qiu Tai Bao, each reward 50 tails of silver and four gifts. Kai Jing also made Yin's son the eunuch of the palace, Lin Lingsu, the national counselor, assisted the country in Zhuanghua, brought great fortune, planned the northern expedition, and cooperated with heaven. He was granted the title of loyal and filial uncle, with a salary of 1,000 dan, a seated dragon robe, and the title of Yujin. The leader is Mr. Yuan Sheng Zhuangmiao Guangd, Kin Min Yuk, and Dailing Zhuangmiao, Zhu, Mayan Li and Huang Jingchen supervise the fortune of the gods and are commendable for their loyalty and diligence. Mainly at the Taifu and the Crown Prince Taifu, the Minister of Economic Affairs and the Imperial Guards in front of the palace, and the Admiral to oversee the people and ships in front of the palace. Each Yinzi has a son to guard and guard thousands of households in Jinwu. The internal servants Li Yan, Meng Changling, Jia Xiang, He Yi, and Len Kang Yi were the five internal servants of Xianfu. They were each given python robes and jade belts. Yinyan's brother and nephew were appointed as deputy to a thousand households, and they were all appointed as stewards. Zhang Bangchang, the minister of rights, Kai Yu, the left minister and bachelor, Bai Shizong, the right minister, Yu Shen, the minister of the ministry of war, and Lin Zhuang, the minister of the ministry of industry, all together with the crown prince and Tai Bao, were each rewarded with 40 tails of silver and two pieces of colored satin as gifts. The governor of both Zhejiang province and the censor Zhang was promoted to the right minister of the Ministry of Industry. The governor of Shandong province, Yu Shihu, was promoted to Taichang Jenking, Yin Daoying and Song Qianian, the censors of Zhejiang province and Shandong province, and in Chen and Wushan, doctors of the Capital Water Division, were each promoted to one level of salary and rewarded with 20 tails of silver. Ji Wei Ching Shen, Su Xiang, Yang Tingpei, Si Feng Yi, Zhao Yulan, Fu Tianzi, Simon King, Tian Zhu Gao, etc., who welcomed the fortune of thousands of households, are each promoted to one level. The Chamberlain Song Tui and others, and the Camp General Wang Yu and others, were each rewarded with ten tails of silver. The official Zhu Xian Zhang and others were each rewarded five tails of silver. The school captain Chang Yu and others brought to pieces of silk. The Yemen knows, after Jia Tixing and Simon King finished watching, they dispersed and went home. In the afternoon, Wang Sangwan sent Yang Ding and Wen's sister-in-law to get the invitation letter. On the 11th, he invited Simon King to attend a banquet in his house. He expressed his gratitude to everyone. Simon King accepted it and was very happy, thinking that his wife was just round the corner. Unexpectedly, on the evening of the 10th day of the lunar month, Tokyo's Hanai minister sent a note. Inform the sentencing officials in all provinces to be informed. Go to Beijing as soon as possible to see the court in time for the winter festival to express gratitude. And you will not be punished by mistake. Simon King watched it, and Jia Tixing was held in the Yemen the next day. When everyone got home, they packed their bags, prepared gifts for Z, and set off in the morning or evening. Simon King and Bodayan called when Sour and told him to return to Wang Sangwan. I can't come to the banquet today. I have to go to the capital to thank the court. Mrs. Wen hurriedly went back, and Wang Sangwan said, Since I have something to do, please come back with sincerity. Simon King called General Ben to come and ordered him to follow him. He gave him five tails of silver and made trouble at home. Chan Hong was left to look after the house, and Dian and Wang Jing were brought along to agree. He also asked Zhou Guard to get for patrolling soldiers, for ponies, and pack sedan horses, so that the platoon troops could carry them. Jia Tixing was followed by Jia Xu. There were more than 20 people from both families following him. I got up and left King County on the 12th. It was getting late in winter, so I traveled day and night. When I arrived at Waking Mansion in Huixi, I Lin Qianhu, who had already gone to Tokyo. Along the way, I rode in a sedan chair when the weather was cold and rode on a horse when the weather was warm. I climbed the purple road in the morning and walked in the world of mortals at dusk. Exactly, I am in a hurry to shake the green tent.
but my heart is in a rush to smash the purple silk whip. It is said that one day I arrived in Tokyo and entered the Manchu Gate. Simon King decided to go to Xiangwo Temple. Jia Tixing refused and insisted on surrendering to Chue Zhangshu, his relative. Simon King could not help but prepare a greeting card to meet him. When Chue Zhangshu was at home, he went out to greet him and went to the hall to meet him. After sitting down for tea, he handed over his hands and asked Simon Qingzhen's name. Simon King said, the cheap name is Sikwen, because he asked, What is your honorific title, Mr. Chue Zhangshu? Chue Zhangshu said, Students are the simplest in nature. Their name is Xian Lingxia. Their humble name is Shou Yu. And their humble name is Shu Zai. Because he said, Long Shi has long been known as a virtuous man who gave up his relatives. He relied on support and worked together to be respectful. There is no such thing as kindness, Simon King said. I don't dare. I have always received my teachings. And now that I am your master, I will benefit a lot from you. I am very grateful. Jia Tixing said, Sir, how can you call him this? We have never seen each other again. Chue Zhangshu said, It's what Sikwen said. It's because of his status. After saying that, they laughed at each other. After a while, pack your luggage. It was getting late. So Chue Zhangshu ordered the servants to set the table and serve food. It was just a matter of eating and drinking. No need to go into details. That day, the two of them stayed overnight at Chue Zhangshu's house. On the next day, everyone prepared gifts and greetings, followed by their family members, and went to see Tai Kai at his residence early in the morning. That day, the Grand Master had not yet come out of the cabinet, and the officials, and people in front of the mansion were like ants swarming together. And they couldn't get out of the way. Simon King and Jia Tixing gave two bags of silver to the officials at the door and took the stickers to report in. When Butler's eye saw him, he came out to meet him and asked him to go to his private house outside. First, Jia Tixing met first, and then Simon King recited the etiquette, exchanged greetings with each other, and sat down in their respective seats. Jia Tixing first handed over the gift cards, to pieces of yen gold satin and to pieces of colored satin. Butler's eye has ten tails of silver. Simon's gift card included a large red velvet python, a black embroidered bullfighting collar, and two pieces of Beijing satin. In addition, he gave Butler's eye a black and green cloud velvet and thirty tails of silver. Zai Jin ordered his surroundings, take all the gifts from the master into the mansion and register them. He only accepted Simon King's Yun Rong, not even the thirty tails of silver from Jia Tixing, and said, this is unreasonable. If so, there will be no close friends and family ties. He ordered the people to set the table and put food on the table. And said, Today, the Holy Lord will worship Jen Yu, build a new Qing Bao Julu palace, and enshrine a plaque. This master will preside over the ceremony and will not leave until noon. When I get home, I go to the home of Amber Zheng with Mr. Li, eat and drink. I'm afraid that my in-laws and Long Shi won't be able to wait and will miss your every move when the master is free. Just wait for me to give you the gifts. Simon King said, My relatives have troubled me. Sai Jin asked, Where will my in-laws live? Simon King asked Jia Long Shi to ask his in-laws to stay. After a while, the table was set up, with large plates and bowls, and soup, rice and snacks were brought out together. They were all cooked by Guanglu, and they were extremely delicious. After each Jinju drank three glasses of wine, he took his leave and got up. Sai Jin kept the money and ordered another cup to be poured out. Simon Kingyan asked, In-laws, how often do I see the court? Sai Jin said, In-laws, you can't agree with Mr. Jia. Mr. Jia is now an official in the capital, so this is not the case. You and my newly promoted deputy Qian Hu, the nephew of the superintendent He, my son He Yangshu, he will be punished and you will be in charge of the punishment, and you will be his colleague. He thanked him first, and only waited for you to see the emperor and finish the introduction, so that we can receive the payment together. You will only do everything for him. Jia Tixing listened and said nothing. Simon King said, Excuse me, my in-laws, I'm afraid I have to wait for the winter solstice to come back to see the court. Zai Jin said, My dear, 
You can't wait for the winter solstice saint to come back from the suburbs. On that day, officials from all over the world will come to congratulate you. And there will be a banquet to celebrate. How can you wait? Why don't you go to Hongu Temple today to register your name? And tomorrow I thanked you early in the morning and waited until that day when the superior officer in the hall had finished introducing the music, received the note and paid it, and got up. Simon King thanked him and said, My parents taught me how to repay you. Before he stood up, Saijin took Simon King to the side to talk. He complained very much about Simon King and said, My dear, what was written in my book the day before yesterday? Everything must be kept confidential and not allowed to be known to colleagues. What did the in-laws tell Mr. Jia? They asked him to send Lin Zhenren's post and immediately forced Tai Weizhou to come and tell the master that he was willing to ignore the book, but still with the title of commander, he was sentenced to three years in charge of his post. Superintendent he also passed the imperial court's favor to concubine and an empress Liu, who was favored by the central court. So he also passed the decree and told the master and Tai Weizhou in person that his nephew, he Yang Shu would be in peace, Shan Dong Li Xing. I was blocked by two favors, but I taught you how to make it easy. Didn't I keep standing up in front of you, knocking back Lin Zhenren, and making the family unable to survive? The panic Simon King bowed quickly and said, Thank you for the kindness of my relatives. I have never said to anyone, How did this father know about it? Sai Jin said, Since ancient times, if things are not kept secret, it will lead to harm. From now on, my parents should be more cautious in everything. Simon King thanked Xia Tixing for his kindness and laughed. When he came to Chue Zhang Shu's house, he sent Ben Si Hong Lu Temple to sign up. The next day, I went to court with Jia Tixing. He was wearing a green robe and a crown. He came out to express his gratitude in front of the Meridian Gate. As soon as he turned around the West Gate, he saw a man in Sing Yi walking forward and asked, is that Shandong Tixing Zyman's father? Bai Si asked. Where are you from? The man said, I am the craftsman and supervisor of the inner palace, Yunaki, and I have come to ask my father to speak. Before he finished speaking, he saw an eunuch wearing a bright red python robe, a three mountain hat, and soap boots with foundation. Shouting from the imperial street, Master Zyman is invited. Simon Ching Sui and Jia Tixing parted, and where the eunuch pulled him into a nearby duty room with his hand, and bowed to each other. Simon King was so panicked that he fell over and refused to return the courtesy. The eunuch said, Sir, you don't recognize me. I am the eunuch He Yi, the craftsman and eunuch. I see you as the attendant of concubine Wen Mao in the fourth palace of Yanning. The work was completed yesterday. With the grace of long live grandpa, my nephew He Yangshu was promoted to the position of Deputy Qianhu of the Jinwu Guards. And he was promoted to be the prison manager of the prison station in your office. And he became colleagues with the boss, Simon King said. It turns out he is the old eunuch. I don't know the student, I forgive you, forgive me. He bowed and said, I dare not salute in this forbidden place. I will go to the old eunuch's outer house to worship later. So after reciting the ceremony, I sat down and my family brought tea to eat. After tea, I opened the lid of the table and box. There were many soups, rice and dishes on the table. And I took a chopstick to put them down. Eunuch, he said, there is no need for a small cup. My lord, Xiao, has come down. The weather is cold, so I will bring you a small cup. There is not much food. I'm blaspheming you. Let's eat for a while. Simon King said, it's not appropriate to disturb me. Eunuch, he then filled a large cup and handed it to Simon King. Simon King said, I accept the gift from the old eunuch, and the student will take it. It's just that when you go out, you have to meet an official and pay homage to your subordinates. It's unreasonable to make you blush after eating. Eunuch, he said. What's the harm in eating two cups to boil the cold? Because, he said, my nephew is young and doesn't know the name of the punishment. I hope you can see me and teach him everything among my colleagues. Simon King said. How dare you, old eunuch. Please don't be too humble. Even though your nephew is young, he can nourish his body with qi, which will naturally bring happiness to his soul. Eunuch, he said, my lord, it's easy to tell. As the saying goes, you will never grow old if you learn. The world is like a cow's hair, 
and Confucius only knew a little bit. I'm afraid there is something wrong, so my lord can tell him at least, Simon King said. Students please accept it. Because he asked, where does the boss live outside the prison? The students can come and pay homage to the superior. Supervisor, he said. The house is located in the east of Tianhen Bridge, right on the double lion and horse platform of Wenhuafeng. He also asked, where is your lord? I teach officials to go and bow first, Simon King said. The student is temporarily borrowing it from Chue Zhangshu's house. After asking each other where they lived, Simon King got up after having a large drink. Eunuchi sent him out, clasped his hands and said, As I said, my lord will take care of everything. He is also waiting for your answer so that he can receive the payment. Simon King said, The old eunuch doesn't need to give instructions, the students know. So he left the court and went to the Ministry of War. He met Jia Tixing again and paid homage to the ministry officials together. By the time I came to see Tai Weishu, hand over my resume, pay my notes, and pay my respects to the experience department and the officials of our office. It was already the time to apply. Jia Tixing changed his commanding uniform and presented a different handbook to Tai Weishu. He skipped kneeling and chose a day to take office in Nanya. Just after leaving the Yemen, Simon King was still waiting, so he didn't dare to go with him and asked him to mount his horse first. Is Jia Yanling willing? We must go together. Simon King rushed him to call him master, and Commander Jia said, Zikwen, you and my colleagues are here first. Why do you call me so? Simon King said, the title has been determined, and it is natural. Why be so humble? Because he asked, your majesty has been promoted to a high position and has not returned to Shandong. When will the family move in? I just sent someone to pick up the house for the Chinese New Year. I hope the chief will take care of it sooner or later. If anyone wants the house, let the chief give it to me and I should repay my gratitude, Simon King said. Student, I would like to accept it. How much is the house in the house worth? It's just the original price. The two returned to Kui's house, Wang Jing reported to the front. The newly promoted father he is here to pay homage. Get off your horse and go to the hall. The younger one has not returned home yet. Father he said he would pay homage to Father Jia and Father Chue more often. All submitted their posts. At noon, they sent a pieces of gold satin. Wan Hong Tier took it to Simon King and looked at it. It said, I would like to have two ends of the satin handkerchief to show my respect to Z. Yin Shi taught He Yang Shu to bow his head. Simon King saw it and quickly sent Wang Jing to seal to Nanjing colorful lines and write a gift card. After eating, I quickly went back to his house to pay my respects. In the hall, He Qian who hurriedly came out to greet him. He was wearing black gauze and soap shoes. He was less than 20 years old. His face was as pink as a powder, and his lips were painted with vermilion. He came down the steps and bowed to him. He was extremely humble and courteous. The two went to the hall to recite the ceremony. Simon King ordered Diane to offer Ziji in the gift, bow down, and said, It's a good time to patronize me. And I also received the generous gift, but I didn't welcome you. This morning, I was given a meal by my husband on duty. I'm so grateful. Virtue is not exhausted. He Kian who hurriedly returned the courtesy and said, The student has received a small position. Just like the superior, he will benefit from his teachings sooner or later. It is really a blessing in his life. When he came to worship at the right time, he didn't meet him, but he paid homage to him. He was born in Peng Wang. He ordered the left and right to put them down, pulled out chairs for the guests and hosts to sit down, and brought tea to the left and right. While having tea, they asked each other questions. Simon King said, Students are called Sikwen. He Kian Hu said, the student's nickname is Tianquan. He asked again, Sir, did you pay homage to Bibu Hall today? Simon King said, I came out from inside and received wine from my father-in-law to pay homage to Bibu. Then I went to the Yemen to see the hall, paid the letter and paid homage to the director. When I came out, I had to pay homage to Bibu. Sir, I don't know how to humiliate you first. He Kian who asked, Sir, both Sir and Jiagong came to see the court today. Simon King said, Jia Longshi has been promoted to command, and today they all went to see the court to express their gratitude. Only when they went to the Yemen to see the court, 
he please refer to the separate manual. After saying that, he Kion Hu said, should we go to the master's father's house first, or should we receive the letter first? The imperial memorial was introduced in the imperial court, and I was still present at the Yemen Hall to receive the notes together with everyone. He Kion Hu said, in that case, let's prepare a gift and go in every morning. So they all gave everyone the courtesy. He Kion Hu received a python robes and a bunch of jade belts. Simon King received a big red unicorn gold satin a green velvet python robe, a gold and jade ribbon ring, and for jars of gin hua wine. Tomorrow morning we will collect them in front of Zhu Taiwei's house. The date was set, the tea and soup were changed. Simon King said goodbye and returned without mentioning the matter to Jia Yanling. One night scene has been mentioned. The next day, we arrived at He Kian Hu's house early. He Kian Hu also prepared a small banquet with big plates and bowls and even his subordinates had a good meal. And then they went to the gate of the captain's house. By C and the He family were holding the gifts. At that time, Lieutenant Zhu was adding a new Taibao, and Emperor Weizong. Send envoys to the south altar to see if the sacrifices had not returned. Each family sent congratulatory gifts and met with officials, who were waiting at the front of the door in darkness. He Kian Hu and Simon King got off their horses and met someone sitting nearby. They sent someone to inquire about the master and report it immediately. Waiting until noon, I suddenly saw a person coming on a flying horse and reported the master has returned from seeing animals and entered Nanxon Gate. Tell the idlers to open it. After a while, the horseman came back with a message. The master has crossed Chanhin Bridge. After a while, I saw officials and sergeants carrying deacon flags and calling each other one by one. After walking for half a day, I saw from a distance that Captain Ju was carrying an eight-shouldered sedan chair, wearing a black gauze on his head and scarlet bull velvet. The robe has jinxian white jade across the waist, and there are Taibao tooth plaques and goldfish keys hanging on it. So majestic and majestic. When the deacons arrived at the door of the house, they all stood aside and drank quietly. No one coughed. The officials who came to see him were all kneeling in front of the street in a dark crowd. They all prepared great gifts and drank wine to celebrate. So there were many the Zhao Feng actors and actresses are happy here. As soon as the Tai Wei got off the sedan chair, the fun stopped. Various officials and people are ready to come. Suddenly there was a sound of Taoism and a messenger in green clothes flew away with the red greeting cards in his hand, handed them to the doorman and said, Master Zhang from the Ministry of Rights and Master Kai from the bachelor's degree are here to pay their respects. Reported in quickly, after a while, the sedan chair was at the door. Zhang Bangsheng, the minister, and Kai Yu, the minister, both wore red auspicious clothes with peacock patches, a rhinoceros belt and a gold belt. They went in to pay homage and waited for tea before sending them out. Wang Zudou, Minister of the Ministry of Personnel, Han Lu, the left minister, and Yin Jing, the right minister, also came to pay their respects. Zhu Taiwei was waiting for tea. In addition, the emperor's relatives, Qi Guogong, Privy Counselor, Zheng Chujong, and Prince Consort Wang Jinxing all brought purple flowers and jade to pay homage. Wei Zheng sits in the middle in a sedan chair, and both of them ride horses. After being sent out, the six officers of the Yemen arrived. The first one was Sun Rong, the admiral in charge of both sides, and the inspector. The second one was Liang Yinglong, the inspector in charge. And the third one was Tianyin, the nephew of the emperor's chief inspector, Huang Jitong, who was in charge of internal and external inspection. Huang Jingchen, the fourth admiral in charge of the inspection of the 13 gates of the capital, Du Jian, the fifth supervisor in charge of the imperial guards and patrols in the imperial city, and Chen Zongshan, the sixth supervisor in charge of the patrols inside and outside the capital. They all wore bright red and Dao Chen on their heads, but Sun Rong was the crown prince's Taibao with a jade belt, and the rest were all gold belts, Dismount and Goan. Each family has a gift of gold coins. After a while, there was music inside. The princes placed golden flowers and handed wine to Captain Zhu. A group of flutes and flutes under the stairs filled their ears. 
and two rows of silk and bamboo sang in harmony. In front of the table, there is a feast of flowers and brocade. How can you see the Taiwei's wealth? But see, the official residence is of the first rank, ranking in the third rank, the illustrious palace, Tandon Prime Minister's Mansion. On the Tiger Talisman and Jade Festival, the gates and courtyards are cold, the elephant boards and silver zithers are lively. The people who come to see him in the final court are none other than the princes, princes and grandsons. The people who follow him year by year are all noble families and relatives. There, people can be reconciled and rationalized. And they can be flattered and flattered. They chatted and laughed and started fighting. And their bragging shocked the world. The false edict made the eight ministers surrender their hands, and the clever words made the ninth emperor nod. When the governor chooses flowers and stones, the south and north of the Yangtze River will be devastated. When he donates boxwood, the treasury and the people's wealth will be depleted. It's exactly this, the most powerful person under the chariot, the richest person in the world is unparalleled. After a while, he sat down at the table. A group of five actors sang a set of enjoy wealth and honor and receive the emperor's favor, playing the zither jukin pipa, square sounding kong hu, and red ivory elephant board. At that time, after three rounds of wine and a set of songs, the six officers stood up and were escorted out by Commander Ju personally. They returned to the hall, the music was suspended, the housekeeper reported the matter, and officials from various places came in to see him. Lieutenant Ju ordered the people to carry the case to the left and right, sit down in the hall, and ordered them to come out. He also ordered all the nobles, nobles, officials, and family members to bring in gifts. After a while, it was sent out, and the officials of the Benway Chronicle, the North and South Guards, the Five Divisions, the Seven Divisions, the Inspectors, the Inspectors, the Observers, the Inspectors, the Inspectors, the Dianj, the Direct Drivers, the Prisoners, the Commanders, and the thousands of households, etc., each had their own handbooks to submit. Then word came out that the criminal officials from the 13 provinces of Huaihi, Zhejiang, Shandong, Shangxi, Guangdong, Guangxi, Hedong, Hebei, Fujian, Guangnan, and Sichuan were called to come in one after another. Ximon King and He Qian who were on the fifth floor, carrying in the gifts. The steward took the gift cards and spread them on the desk. The two stood at the foot of the steps, waiting for their names to be called. Ximon King raised his head and saw the five factory halls in the front. On them were vermilion plaques with for gold characters Jai Jin Wu Tang written by Emperor Hizung. It was very prominent. After a while, their names were called, and the two of them agreed to be promoted. They bowed in front of the dripping eaves, bowed for times, and knelt down, and listened to the distribution. Tai Weizhu asked, those to people from a thousand households, why did you ask your eunuch to bring gifts? He accepted the orders and ordered, be careful in your official duties in the local area. I have my own justice here, after serving the imperial court come to the Yemen to receive your appointment. They both agreed in unison, left and right shouted, Get up! Come out from the left corner door. Just as he came out of the gate, he saw Ben C and others carrying a load. Just as he was about to leave, he suddenly saw a man coming to report on Pegasus with a red paper, saying, Your Highness and Master are here. Zyman King and He Kian who stood at the door to watch, after a moment, the military prison shouted, They saw Duke Wang Yi of Longxi. The 800,000 strong imperial army of the governor's camp in the capital. And Tai Wei Gao Qiu, the commander in chief of the imperial forest army, both wearing red jade belts, arriving in sedan chairs. As soon as the officials from various provinces came out to see him, they couldn't see him again. Simon King and He Qian who walked to a remote place and called their followers to pull the horses. They then mounted their horses and returned to their apartment. It's exactly this, power and treachery lead to great disaster for the country, founder of the country and inheritance of the family and villains. The traitor has no way to punish him, but the two saints are far away in the dust. Alright, this part of the story ends here. Want to know what happened next? Let's listen to the breakdown next time.